I came in to UD as a pre-vet major uh, with the intention of one day being a large animal vet. And uh, sophomore year, I took botany with Dr. Bass. And uh, from there, I just, I hadn't really been exposed to plant science at all or plant biology at that point. And from there, I was taken in. I was able to get some experience in his lab, and I eventually transitioned to a plant science and had the animal science double major, and uh, so I could pursue plant science and research. Uh, when arsenic is tr uh, fully affecting a rice plant, it has issues with filling its grain, and this results in a symptom called straight head, and normally rice will bend and sort of go with the wind. Straight head rice stays a lot more upright. In addition to that, it's not as full. That's one of the reasons it can stay upright. So it's basically a uh, hollowed out version of itself. So the specific work we're doing has to do with reducing arsenic uptake while also increasing iron uptake. So getting rid of the bad and getting more of the good per se. And we're utilizing bacteria that naturally occur near rice. The bacteria basically, they secrete um, so a compound that allows for iron to accumulate on the roots and this basically acts as a shield that prevents arsenic uptake. So the bacteria are effectively encouraging a shield to be put around the rice root, an iron plaque shield that effectively stops arsenic from being taken up into the plant and thus possibly consumed. Uh, this has huge humanitarian bent in that the majority of the countries involved, uh, affected by arsenic poisoning and toxicity, are developing countries. So this technology, if we were to develop it, this biotechnology, it could help a lot of people who really aren't in a position to help themselves. And also, a lot of people in these countries go blind, go have a lot of other health issues from micronutrient deficiencies. And that's another thing that this project addresses, is increasing iron uptake. There's something about working in a lab for a purpose versus working in a lab for a grade. When you're in a lab for a long-term setting and you actually have an attainable real-world goal, it changes both your mindset and also the way you go about things. So I find it integral to my education at this point.